How's it going, y'all? We got a lot of stuff going on with the FDRX7 right now. I got the exhaust 100% finished up. It's on the car. I'll give you guys a quick look at that. A little sound check. We also got BC coiler was going on today, which I'm super stoked for. Been waiting to put those things on for a long, long time. Uh, also making a new shift. I'll show you guys that too. But anyway, main thing: exhaust, coilovers. Let's get to it. But alright guys, like I said, y'all definitely missed a lot. Like so I'm not really going into detail with all this stuff because you know, it just takes a lot of time and don't really think too many people are interested in that. I just want to share my journey with this car with you. Um, like so the engine bay is pretty much done. It's knocked out. Everything, the nitrous system is hooked up. I had to get some bolts for the, uh, for the solenoids to hold those down. But for the most part, it's done. All the paint and body work's done. Like I said, I just had to put the fenders and front bumper on because there's no sense in putting them on and have to you know, scratch them as I'm working on the car. But I still got to get a windshield ordered. So I need to get a windshield windshield ordered. I got a seat in here. I just stole the seats out of the or the pass the passenger seat out of the Z for now. Uh, so I'm working on making a uh, a new shifter. I'll show you guys this real quick. All right, so it's just a couple pieces of plate. I just cut those out, and we're gonna put this guy up here and weld it just to kind of give it a little bit of a kickback and it's weighted uh, there's just like a little slug hammer down there it's got a really good weight to it got the uh, hold fast steering wheel in here uh oh come on quick release and everything looking pretty sick so let's get that shifter fixed It'll actually be drivable, so I can kind of drive it around the block again. Uh, but the exhaust turned out super awesome, man. Got some big old three and a half inch tips. I think it looks sick. It's tucked up extremely nice. It's not hitting anywhere. I mean, that thing is tucked up like perfect, man. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. Got the headers, just repainted them, wrapped them real quick. Things look sick. Set my phone down. As you can see, tucked up. Got a nice little connector right there. That thing doesn't leak at all. It's perfect. Love it. It's all wrapped. Heat wrap all the way back to the wire right here. I'm just trying to keep the heat from the inside of the cabin. Got that little hangers. Or got some little hangers going on. It's kind of cool. Got another little slip fit right there. But I'm still waiting on the three and a half inch coupler to come. Or butt connector. Whatever you want to call them. Just a quick coat of high temperature paint. That thing is looking awesome. I love it. I think it sounds great. Fits great. Let's see if I can do this. Don't even know if you'll be able to see anything or not. But yeah. I think it turned out awesome. <laughs> but having a little startup issue i'm pretty sure it's just in the tune because like i said this car isn't tuned yet but sometimes fires up perfect every single time sorry for the wind perfect every single time you turn the key other times it kind of wants to like sputter and pop and stuff but i don't know i'll let the tuner figure that out like that this thing it every time on camera i swear to god every single time every single time i try to record this thing firing up every single time but i'll crank it up a hundred times and it won't make it won't, it'll fire instantly just like that i don't know it's so weird i think it sounds sick and i got 
got it in gear, so I might need to take it out of gear. I think it sounds awesome. I'm hoping the smoke is still just like stuck on the inside of the exhaust, but um, the, you know, I don't believe that's actually the case. But anyway, this is just a clapped out LS1 that's been sitting in my yard under a tarp for like, uh, like five years, man. So I'm sure it needs something. But like I said, I got a cam kit for it. Hopefully once I put that in there, maybe some valve stem seals, you know, maybe some of that is the case. But anyway, who knows? Um, the better guess would probably be like maybe, you know, rust on the cylinder walls and then like cranking it over or cranking it up, you know, it's then kind of got the rings or something, but we'll see. Like, so this isn't the engine I plan on running. It's just the, the engine that come with the full swap kit. So it's in here. I'll and eventually end up going with like an all aluminum 5.3 just because they're kind of easy to get. But for now, that's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> but the part I've been waiting to put on for like forever, BC coilovers. Yes, sir. So, like I said, I've had these guys. Um, I also had a set of these in like a SC300 I had, so I really liked them. But this is the DS series. Um, just tried tried them because like everybody everybody says they're great. So we'll figure to give them a shot. Well, let's get these things out of the box real quick. Let's see if I can manage this one-handed. Got my little RC car body shears right here. Which I use these for Cut it, trimming a body but I use them for everything else too that's probably why I go through so many of them come out oh man can't wait to see these bad boys Please don't blow away. You can blow away. No one cares about you. Dude, these things look awesome. Wind is killing me. Sorry, guys. Can't control the weather. So sick. Let me get these things out here real quick. There they are. Laid out. Looking gorgeous old factory clapped out these things look beautiful man so excited I started cheap out and get something like CX racing or something like that but I have so much money in the FDR X7 it was definitely definitely worth saving and buying something that's you know rebuildable nicer and a lot of people run these so maybe they can help me get them dialed in for the car and the weight and all that good stuff yeah i'm gonna set y'all up maybe give like a time lapse of putting one front and one rear on but like so i got already got the old stuff out so it should be pretty straightforward the wind is like super super crazy guys i'm sorry it's nothing i can do but anyway i'm gonna get the coilovers on here uh possibly take it down the road but definitely move it around the yard and stuff like that um so anyway i'm gonna get that knocked out real quick so time lapse maybe right here but I'll see you guys once they're on the car. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that. I'm so pumped. <laughs> Can't tell you guys, man. This thing is looking sick. 
BC coil has got me sitting right. I'm loving it. But they went in perfect. Surrounded by all my clapped out, wore out suspension. But we'll get that stuff later. But man, this thing is looking awesome. I'm not going to run these particular wheels, but I do have like some 18 inch versions of those. I'm going to get those cleaned up and painted. Throw some new tires on them. Guys, I'm excited. This thing is looking so sick. So awesome. It's killing me. That's pretty much going to be it. Like I said, uh, next time we're definitely going to get the front windshield put in this thing. Maybe the front fenders and stuff. And actually take it for its first official drive. But I'm also waiting on uh, the DOT guys to come out here and hopefully fix my driveway, man. Because it is like crazy messed up. And uh, if I end up like bombing that car out of my driveway, I'd lose my mind. As you can see, it's pretty bad. So, and it's got like that nice little crest to it. So, hopefully, I can get all that like flattened out. But look at this thing, man. Dude, how can you not be excited about that? Look at that. Dude, that thing looks so sick. Oh my God. Oh man, guys, I'm so so pumped, man. This thing is so sick. Can't wait. <sighs> but I'm about to go work some overtime so I can afford the front windshield for this thing because I'm like dead broke. But anyway, you'll see that on the next one, guys. And we'll take this thing out and I'll give you all that burnout I've been promising. But look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, that's enough of me around, my guys. Like always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe to follow this thing as it's coming back together. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys around.